I believe that. Good mission, boy. Hey, you're doing it right. Go, Mark. I'm, I'm right in front of him. Coach, any final thoughts as you walk off the field for the last time well, in 12 years? You know, I wish we could have made a better game of it. And, uh, but, you know, they just had a few too many weapons and a little too much ability for us on defense. But I really think it, uh, and I, I felt like they, they might be the best team in the country coming in and after watching them here today that um, defensively, I don't, uh, I don't believe I've ever seen a better defensive football team that can run and, and as much talent in the secondary and, and uh, speed they got. So they, uh, you know, if they could throw the football a little better than, you know, they would be. Uh, but they're a great football team. Coaches, you were mighty proud of our kids. And, you know, we, we were in the football game till the interception. And then we just couldn't get anything going offensively. And, and uh, you know, we, we just we didn't give our chance a chance. It still a chance down the stretch. Coach, it's been a great 12 years. Enjoy your hunting. Yeah, thank you very much. And, uh, you know, I hate, I hate for it to go out like this, but I don't guess when you get out of it, and you've been in as long as I have. I've been playing or coaching since 1952, and I, um, I guess you're never ready, but it's got, to, it's got to end sometime. Good luck to you in the future, Coach. Thank you very much. Have a good one. So thank you, Mark, and our Chevrolet most valuable players of the game. He mentioned the interception. The man who did it, Antonio Langham, 61 yards for the first touchdown. James Willis, standout linebacker from Auburn. And Chevrolet will donate $1,000 to each school's general scholarship fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements and to assist those in financial need. Gene Stallings closes in on a possible national championship. Back in a moment.